We're now ready to publish our masterpiece. So we're going to go up to the publish or render your scribe video. Now this is only available for you if you have the free, uh, the trial, uh, sorry, the pro version. If you have the trial version, the free version, you won't be able to do this for obvious reasons. I'll click on it. And one of the first things, this is actually fairly new, is the ability to add a, a watermark, a logo to your, your scribe. Uh, I used to have to go into something like Camtasia to do it there. And I still find there's some value in doing that because often I'm using this video, bringing in the published video into Camtasia to add a title or something else or maybe some additional information. But if you simply want to render it and add the logo from here, that's perfectly good too. If you're going to share it only online, there's actually a, sort of a, a share a share site that uh, VideoScribe has where you can uh, create your videos, store them there, and then share them out. You can also publish directly to f uh, Facebook or to YouTube, uh, or you can put it into a PowerPoint slide. But you can also just create the video file and then do all of those things separately, which is typically what I do. So when you create the video file, click on this button here. Then you have different types of formats. You have the QuickTime movie format, and you've got two options. You've got the Full HD, which is 1080p, or 720, or even 640. So obviously the higher the number, the higher the resolution. The frame rate you can adjust as well, but typically 29 to 30 is sort of a standard frame rate for most um, videos. You can also change to uh, AVI image sequence. So wherever there's a change in the animation, it would create an image of that. So it's essentially almost like creating a stack of cards or photos, um, stills from your video. Same thing with J JPEG. You can also do Windows Media Player uh, movie file, which is a slightly st smaller format. It's still HD. It just depends on where you need to store it. Uh, and then we get back to QuickTime again. I typically uh, publish a QuickTime in 1080 with all these things here because what I do afterwards, so I'm going to quickly flip over to show you, I bring it into a tool like Handbrake. I don't know if anybody's ever used Handbrake before, but it's a really great tool to allow you to convert or compress a video. So you can upload directly from MOV files into um, into YouTube, um, but maybe you are somewhere else where you need to compress something you ha or you need to send it to somebody. So there's a couple of different reasons you might do this. So you can actually just bring it into Handbrake and um, modify it from there. But it's not going to allow you to add titles and things like that. That's when you'd use something like Camtasia or Premiere Pro. But it's actually a fairly versatile tool and typically it's going to publish in an MP4 format which is universal and the codec it has is the H.264 which is pretty much universal for, for all players these days. So those are the different options that you have, and just again to remind you, uh, you will only get that option to publish if you have the pro version.